I want to ask about ball magnets. So you've got stuck into some off-field, uh, some off-field sort of uh, ventures and businesses and whatnot. Um, so you've got an app called Ball Magnets where young players and anyone in particular can learn about footy, learn drills and um, yeah, skills and drills and, and whatnot. So how, how is all that traveling? It's going really well. I think as predicted, like during footy season, the relevance of it and the interest shown in it has really spiked since footy started. So I guess what we're trying to do, myself, Cripper, Lockie Neal, Aaron, and all the players we have on board who help us out, we're trying to, I guess, show a little bit more behind the scenes within the footy clubs because when we get that sort of content, especially that is driven by us, like yep. when, when they do it with the, the media manager, like they're not being their true selves. So we can actually show a side of the players that no one else really can. So there'll be some really cool stuff like that coming. And that probably falls under the entertainment style content on the app. So we're probably a bit of entertainment, like a TikTok style thing now, as well as, you know, the performance <coughs> side of footy to get better with drills, skills, tips and insights. So, um, yeah, we've got some really good players who haven't been on the app coming up in the next few weeks. Oh, that's unreal. That, yeah. How are you finding... Um like the content side of things so that that's where i would say my expertise are yeah. and um like you, how do you find it like coming from like a football background getting involved in yeah the content side of things yeah it's uh it's a completely different skill set you are very good at it and i think even the content we've done together has a good pump, good pump up <laughs> like the ideas you have are pretty awesome like it's a great <laughs> skill it's probably something that doesn't come naturally to me like i you like you have to come out of yourself as you would know yeah yeah which i'm probably more of a shy introverted person or you are too but yeah you, you're naturally very good at it but i think i'm very good at like the educational side around footy and teaching and things and um because that's sort of what i know but in terms of content creating like that's sort of out of my comfort zone so yeah trying to do just improve at it um because i guess people want to see who you are as a person yep and yeah, certain players want to let you into that, certain don't. I'm co very comfortable with it. I, I like relating to people and the community and like, mm. build, like building this community where we've got 16,000 now ball magnets out there. So I love being able to connect with them. And the best way to do that is to show who you are. Do you have any uh, plans for content uh, in the future that you can, you can let us in on? I want to join your company. I want you to start one. And I, want me to, <laughs> I want to be your first staff member or employee. I might have to, yeah. We might have to take <laughs> off from producing yeah. and, and fire something up. Yeah, well, I haven't thought about it yet, but I do hope that Ball Magnets really thrives. And for post footy, hopefully, you know, myself, Cripper and Lockie, we've got a good five or six years left each. But I think, you know, we'll put as much energy as we can into it during our careers. And then hopefully even post footy, it's, it's there for us to help educate and teach the next generation how to be the best they can be. Yeah, no, nah, it's awesome. Uh, one thing that I love in particular is uh, some of the vlogs that you've been whipping up for the Ball Magnets yep. YouTube. How do you find uh, out in the uh, the community vlogging? Yeah, shout out to Bailey for helping Bailey, us out with Baz. that. He's not in today, but he's been great. <laughs> yeah, so that's something that's been new as well. That was uh, some feedback we got through the app that people wanted to see some more vlog style things. And that's probably something that has been a little bit different for me, but yep. showing, I guess we've done heaps of different videos, like going on an away trip with the players. Uh, one we're just about to release is my pregame routine. Yeah, what I, that looks I, like from yeah, I start love, to finish. I love stuff like that. And I think people will learn a bit from that and they'll see some of my weird superstitions and things. And <laughs> there's, yeah, there's heaps of really cool ideas we've got with that vlog style stuff. So the GoPro is getting good work out. Now that's unreal. With superstitions, how many do you have and is there any that's like like th there's a little bit of like left sock on before the right mm. sock but is there any that are a little bit more quirky than that yeah yeah i used to have about <laughs> 20 or 30 like honestly i had like a lot <laughs> and as i've got a bit older I, I don't do as many weird things but every now and then i'll catch myself doing something weird yep so when i was at sydney um obviously i was obviously in and out of the team a little bit which was frustrating, but... Which was an absolute joke. You're getting 60 <laughs> touches in the knee full. I'm not sure how you weren't getting in there. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, so there was this one game. I got back into the seniors, played, played really well. Yep. And, you know, I was thinking, all right, what did I do this week? Like, I, I almost mapped out the <laughs> week. I'm like, what did I do the whole week? I just, and I just tried to replicate it, which you don't need to do, but I did that. And yep. I realized that before that game, on the way to the stadium, I filled up my car with petrol. <laughs> and so the next week I was going to the game again, the SCG and I'm like, well, I better fill my car with petrol, but it was already full, Yeah, but I still yeah. had to pull in and just put it in five bucks. Oh. I don't do that anymore, but that was something I reckon I did that for a few weeks just as a superstition. I'm like, 
bit of fill my car up or I'm not going to play well. So they, they might have thought the people at the petrol might have been like, oh, they don't pay these uh, Sydney rookies they're that really much. Str- if he's only, really if he's only putting five in. I know. So that was one oh, I could think of plenty. Yeah, it's crazy how the human brain works and how like you grab onto things like that thinking that it's going to replicate mm. what's previously happened. Yeah, well, now I can separate what what is actually helping and what is superstition. Yeah. So, for example, yeah, like stretching, great. like let's just say pre-game stretching or ball handling, like that is something that's part of my routine, but that's actually helping me. Yeah. Whereas you know, superstitions, like I don't know, like, like your, you said, yeah. left sock, right sock, whatever yeah. it is, that's not helping me play better. That's just in my head. So yeah. I try and decipher, I'm like, what, what, is what I'm doing right now helping or not helping and then that'll determine whether it's in my routine just before we wrap up i want to bring up so we have done a little bit of content over the summer we did the afl goal recreation challenge which is on my youtube channel <laughs> came down to the absolute why how did you find that experience shooting with us uh myself and connor down at icon park and um uh, was there any nerves because <laughs> we find this you know directly in front with the cameras on the nerves are there the nerves were definitely there. Like <laughs> it felt like there was eighty thousand at the G, to be honest. But there was twenty at Icon. But um, yeah, the content we've done, both the preseason challenge and the goal recreation challenge, has been awesome fun. So much I've fun. loved love doing it. We'll have to do it again. But um, that day in particular, we'd had a monster session on the track. Like it was, it was in the middle of preseason. It wasn't was it? Yeah, yeah, it was like the start of December. We'd done like a fifteen k session. My legs were gassed. I'm not making excuses, but I'm just telling you what happened. <laughs> but um, mate, the the win was there for the taking, and I was like. <laughs> I'm about to lose to do you reckon, do you reckon oh, I was almost expecting yeah, if I had a slotted it there could have almost been like a Hawthorne email like yeah. hey mate this probably can't come I out. might have had to ask that to be edited out just for my <laughs> yeah. reputation but um, I, you had two kicks so you just had to score from the pocket all I had to score I just had to score and yeah. we were sort of 35, 40 out I did mention oh maybe we go a bit closer and you were like oh no you'll be right and I just <laughs> I was going for distance more than accuracy and I've had sleepless nights. Like this is sort of six or seven months on. I have still had sleepless nights just thinking like that moment, it sails through. I grab Rog. <laughs> it would have been, uh, yeah, it could have been unbelievable. Well, could have been, should have been. But it wasn't, <laughs> was it? So I guess... Uh, Cutthroat industry, the footy. <laughs> yeah. Well, next challenge, you'll, you'll come up with something. You're, you're the ideas man. Well, um, I'm sure I want to get the bin out. Prime Train and the, yeah, the, get, handball, the yeah, bin challenge. Get the bin out. Something like that. We'll come up with something. 